They play a key role in nature and produce a sweet treat as well. Today we're going to learn how to start a honeybee hive. We have Joel Veenstra. Joel, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now tell me, how do I get started? All right, what we start with is a stand to keep the pieces off of the ground. Next we have a base, and on that base can either go a solid piece, All right. or which I prefer is a screen bottom that you can pull that out for ventilation, or also bugs can fall down through there and cannot crawl back up. So your beehive or your bees stay healthier. All right. Next, we put on a deep hive. And in there, we have a frame. Now, we either have a beeswax this is the beeswax. foundation, or we have a solid plastic one sprayed with beeswax so bees land on it quicker and start building their comb. All right. Next, we put on a queen excluder. That keeps the queen bee down in the bottom where she lays eggs. On top of that goes a super. This is the box that holds the honey you can have in. All right. That also has They're a frames. little shallower then. They are shorter, and you can also get plastic for that also. Okay. And then on top of that can go a feeder. So you have to feed the bees? You feed the bees when they're first established. All right. Or else some medications are given through the, the sugar water. Okay. And on top of that then goes your lid. Great. And then where do the bees go in? The bees go in the front over here. And when you first establish the hive, you want to put this reducer to the smallest hole you can. All right. That protects the bees inside from any predators from getting in. Where do you get bees? You can order them through mail order catalogs or local beekeepers can uh, sell you something called a nuke, which is like a mini hive of three or four frames of bees. Okay. Can we take a look at your hives? Sure. All right. Joel, how many bees do you have here? We have about 60,000 in each hive. Wow. And you're going to collect some honey out of this one? Yes, I am. All right. Wow. So you've got a smoker there. What's, what are you doing with that? That uh, calms the bees down. It seems a little hard to get off. Why is that? Yes, they um, seal up all the cracks with something that's called propolis that they make, and it is really, really sticky. So you have a tool and... Yes, this is a hive tool, and its purpose is to pry. So they seal that up to keep their predators out. Yeah, that and like in the winter, cold wind and right. that sort of stuff. And then so we, you keep smoking them as yeah, you do that? Yeah, every little bit we give them a little smoke. And let that sit for a moment. I'll pull one out here for you. Are there different types of bees? Yes, in a hive there is three different kinds of bees. There's one queen bee who lays all the eggs. There are about 200 drones, which are the males, and they're just for breeding. And then the rest are worker bees that go out and collect the nectar and do all the hive work. Right. Now this hive is not totally full, is it? No, the, what is capped here is cured honey and what is uncapped isn't cured yet, so it should not be harvested until everything is capped. All right. So if it was um, if it was totally capped, then you would harvest that. Then honey. we would harvest it. Yes, we uh, would brush brush all the bees off and collect what we were going to harvest. And what do you do with it then? And then we take it to an. Ex Oops, ah, crap. We cut all the the wax off the top. And then we put it in the extractor. This is a two frame extractor. And then we put the lid on. And then we spin it. And that spinning removes all the honey from in the frame. And then once that is all removed, we take a five gallon bucket with a strainer in the top and we run all the honey out of here into that strainer all right. and into the bucket. And there's pieces, what are you straining out? We're straining out uh, bits of wax and maybe some bug parts right. in there. 
and then after it's strained, we this. bottle it. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Joel, for sharing this information with us. Thank you. They may seem a little scary, but honeybees play an important part in nature.